Hi boys and girls. I'm not sure if there's something going on with the interweb email system, but lately I've been getting loads of messages intended for someone called Martin Lewis, who styles himself as a money-saving expert. It seems there's a huge number of people who can't get the refunds they're due for the flights they couldn't take from this Ryanair mob. I'm going to try to help, but before I do, please like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of new shows every Trudy Tuesday. I'm familiar with these so-called budget airlines. Not that I've actually flown with them myself, of course. I wouldn't demean myself, would I? Herded onto a plane like cattle, forced to buy scratch cards at gunpoint, and what our American cousins call being nickel and dimed by their pricing strategy. It works like this. You pay seven quid for the ticket, but then you have to pay extra if you want to take any more luggage than a handbag. A handbag? Then you pay extra if you want to choose a seat. And then you pay extra if you want to get on the plane before the scrum. You pay an extra 60 euros if you don't print your own boarding pass. And if you don't book all these things online and do their job for them, then you pay treble. By the time you've done all that paying, you might as well have gone with a proper airline in the first place. Besides, Ryanair and their ilk basically serve two demographics. The first is stag and hen dues in European cities even Stalin turned his nose up at. And the second is middle class people who follow money saving experts like Martin Lewis and don't mind arriving at an airport 200 miles away from where they're staying to feel worthy and save two pounds and 19 pence. What's a hen do, you may ask? It lays eggs, silly. Ryanair's boss is called Michael O'Leary and he's on record as saying, you're not getting a refund, so fuck off. We don't want to hear your sub stories. What part of no refund don't you understand? And so I gave him a call and invited him to join me for a cup of tea. I handed him the teapot and he asked me for a cup and saucer. I charged him for the cup and then again for the saucer. He then asked for some milk. I charged him for that too, of course. Then he wanted sugar. Another pound, thank you very much. And then a teaspoon to stir it with. Another pound. Plus, as he hadn't booked all this online, I charged him another 60 pounds. And the best part was, I'd made him travel to meet me in a small cafe 50 miles outside Belfast. And talking of Michael O'Leary, see you next Tuesday. And remember, keep it light.